Singapore, you are not my country. Singapore, you are not a country at all. You are surprising Singapore. Statistic-starved Singapore. Soulful Singapore of tourist brochures and Japanese hourglass kabayas. You protest, but without picketing, without rioting, without Catherine Lim. But through your loudspeaker media, through the hypnotic eyeballs of your newscasters and that weather woman who I swear is working voodoo on my TV screen. Singapore, what are these lawsuits in my mailbox? There are so many sheaves. I should have tipped the postman. Singapore, I assert you are not a country at all. Do not raise your voice against me. I am not afraid of your anthem, although the lyrics are still bleeding from the bark of my sapless heart. Not because I sang them pigtail pinafore at breakfast at chalk shoot in school, but because I used to watch telly till they ran out of shows. Do not invite me to the podium and tell me to address you properly. I am allergic to microphones and men in ego suits and pubic wigs, and I am not a political martyr. I am a patriot who has lost his country and virginity. Do not wave a cane at me for vandalizing your propaganda with technicolor harangues, read in Adam Seaman, White Missouri Menses, the colorful language of my eloquent generation. Your words are like walls on which truth is graffiti. This has become an island of walls. Asylum walls, factory walls, school walls, the walls of the midnight Astana. If I am paranoid, I have learnt it from you. Oh, my delicate orchid stalk Singapore, always thirsty for water, spooked by armed archipelagos, always gasping for airspace, always running to keep ahead, running away from yourself. Singapore, why do you wail that way, demanding my IC? Singapore, stop yelling and calling me names. How dare you call me a chauvinist, an opposition party, a liar, a traitor, a mendicant professor, a Marxist, homosexual, communist, pornography, banned literature, chewing gum, liberty smuggler? How can you say I do not believe in the free press autopsies, flogging, mudslinging, bankruptcy, which are the five pillars of justice? And how can you call yourself a country? You terrible hallucination of highways and cranes and condominiums, ten minutes drive from the MRT. Tell that to the battered housewife who thinks happiness lies at the end of a toto queue. Tell that to the tourist guide, whose fillings are pewter, whose feelings are iron, whose courtesy is gold, whose speech is silver, whose handshake is a lethal yank of the jackpot machine. Tell that to my imam, who thinks we're all going to hell. Tell that to the Chawa Bing, who has seven stitches, a broken collarbone, and three dead comrades, but who will not hesitate from thrusting his tiger ribcage into another fight because the lanterns of his lungs have caught their own fire, and there is no turning back. Tell that to the yuppie who sits in meat markets disguised as pubs, listening to Kenny G disguised as jazz on handphone disguised as conversation, and loneliness disguised as a jute box. Tell that to all those exiles whose names are forgotten, but who leave behind a bad taste in the thoughtful mouth, reminding us that the flapping sun linen shelters a whiff of chloroform. Tell that to town councilmen who feed pigeons with crumbs of arsenic. Tell that to Nadra Herto, also known as Maria, who proved to us that blood spilled was thicker than watershed, and she was caught pining under a stone angel in the nunnery for her husband. Tell that to Ah Meng, who bore six hairy bastards for our nation. Tell that to Lee Kuan Yew's squint. Tell that to Joseph Ng, who flashed his rambunctious ass for the new paper front cover, boosting circulation and sealing his image as my visionary iconoclastic dream visitor, who shaves my head amidst a shower of one sand coins and both of us are pure again. Tell that to my worn officer, who knew I was faking. Tell that to the unemployed man who drinks cigarettes, smokes tattoos, watches peanuts, unselfconscious of his gut belched debts, and wife having an affair with a salesman of nervous breakdowns. 
tell that to our Maya Angelos, who are screeching like witches' United Nations-style poems populated by China Babi Bai, Tonche Malayu, Malaskiling, Grago, Matsali. Tell that to the fakirs of civil obedience, whose headphones are pounding the hooving bass lines of Damyata, Damyata, Damyata. Tell that to the statue of Lipo at Marina Park. Tell that to the performance artists, who need licenses like drivers and doctors and dogs, when all they really need is just 3% of your love. Tell that to the innocent faggot looking for kicks on a Sunday evening to end up sucking the bit hard pistol muzzle of the CID, ensnared no less by his weakness for pretty boys naked out of uniform. Tell that to the caretaker of the grave of Radin Mars. Tell that to Chi Sun John Smirk. Tell that to the pawns of the upgrading empire who penetrate their phalluses into hardlands to plant Lego cineplexes, Tupperware playgrounds, suicidal balconies, carnal parks of cardboard and condoms. And before we know it, we are a colony once again. Tell that to Malaysia, whose Desiru is our spittoon, whose TV2 is our amusement, whose bumiputras are our thread, whose outrage is our greater outrage, whose turtles are weeping blind in the roaring daylight of our cameras. Tell that to the old poets who have seen this piece of land slip their metaphors each passing year from bumboats to debris, to sanitation projects, to drowning attempts to bob neon water weeds on a river with no reflections a long way off from the sea. Oh, Singapore, your fair shores, your gallons, your GNP. You are not a country. You are a construction from spare parts. You are not a campaign. You are last year's posters. You are not culture. You are poems on the MRT. You are not a song. You are part swear word, part lullaby. You are not paradise. You are an island with pythons. Singapore, I am on trial. These are the whites of my eyes and the reds of my wrists. These are the deranged stars of my schizophrenia. This is the milk latex gummy moon of my sedated smile. I have lost a country to images. It is as simple as that. Singapore, you have a name on a map, but no maps to your name. This will not do. We must stand aside and let the lion crash through a madness of symbols back to that dark jungle heart when eyes were still embers waiting for a crownless prince of Palembang. <laughs>